The Illinois Natural History Survey Insect Collection is the second oldest entomology collection in North America. We have over 3,000 primary and 13,000 secondary type specimens. Overall, we are home to over 7 million insect and other arthropod specimens. My name is Tommy McGrath. I'm the Insect Collections Manager here. Let's get started. So one of our greatest strengths is our bee collection. So starting about this drawer right here, and then if you come backwards, follow me a little bit. This is where the bee collection ends, but everything from here all the way back, this is all the Illinois Natural History Survey bee collection. One of the reasons this collection is so big and so important is because we have all the specimens that Charles Robertson collected, who was a botanist and entomologist in Carlinville, Illinois. He collected those specimens between 1880 and 1930. And entomologists today can use that collection to compare how pollinator communities have changed over time before and after Illinois was largely converted to agriculture. Chris Dietrich and Dmitry Dmitriev, along with their students, curate our uh, tree and leafhopper collections. And these are really cool. A lot of them mimic trees, uh, tree parts like bark or thorns or things like that. So there's all kinds of cool camouflage. Um, these ones in particular, I think are just really pretty and look like little sails. Also important though, is that these groups are important agricultural pests. There's new species being introduced to the United States all the time, and they can not only uh, damage plants directly, but they also vector viruses and other plant diseases that can uh, hurt U.S. agriculture. And it's important that we know how to identify them using these specimens. This is our Trichoptera collection. Extends all the way back to the top left corner there. This collection has a regional focus in the Midwest, but has we have holdings th from throughout the world. Uh, these specimens have been used for a variety of different biomonitoring studies, uh, as well as uh, generating lists of threatened and endangered species for freshwater taxa, uh, especially for caddisflies and stoneflies and stuff like that. So this is a really important and awesome collection. So the Microlepidoptera collection here at the survey is really cool. This is mostly due to the contributions of Murray Glenn, who collected microleps near his property in Putnam County, Illinois, from the 1940s to the 1980s. These are immaculately preserved, perfectly spread micromoths. There are still new species being described from these, but unfortunately they're not digitized and they really need more work.
We've talked about our pin collection a lot, but let's talk about our slides. We have about 150,000 or so slides in the collection, about half of which are due to the guy right behind me, Lou Standard. That half of the collection is all thrips. It's one of the most globally comprehensive collections of thrips in the entire world. One of the unique and somber responsibilities we have is taking care of specimens of species that are no longer on this planet. Although one of our strengths is our extensive historic collections, it also comes with challenges, including one called vertigree. Vertigree happens when non-archival insect pins are used, and over time the pins themselves react with the air and insect insides, creating death blossoms of corroding metal. Another challenge is unique to the specimens stored in ethanol. Many of our stoppers used to prevent evaporation are reacting with the ethanol instead, and slowly melting into the vials, either destroying the specimens or causing complete evaporation. So next we have the beetle collection, which is my personal favorite. Beetles are what got me into entomology. It's what I did my PhD on. Um, and the INHS actually has the most specimens of this order compared to any of the other orders of insects and arthropods in the collection. We have extensive holdings of mostly neotropical and neartic material. However, we do have specimens from all over the world, including places like New Zealand and Kyrgyzstan and a bunch of other really cool localities. But one of the particular gems of the collection is the collection of Philophaga, this one genus of uh, scarab beetles. We have 160 drawers representing many of the species within this genus, including many primary types. And it's one of the most comprehensive collections of this genus in the world. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed this short tour. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.